Thank you guys so much for joining us today for this episode of Sunday Inspiration. Again, we've got another great show for you. So I hope you'll tune in to the end because we've got also a few surprises along the way. So imagine it's senior year for you and you are so looking forward to prom, you're looking forward to graduation. And then you're told, hey, none of those things are going to happen this year because we're under a pandemic and everybody has to be quarantined. Imagine the feeling where there are our 2020 graduates this year all have been able to experience this firsthand. And we've got a lot of them at Greater Work Center. And today we're just going to talk to one who has a pretty amazing story to share with us. I know it's been an interesting year, but it's also been full of lots of ups and downs. And so today to share with us a little bit about her story, we have Miss Ashanti Crockett with us. Hey Ashanti, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. <laughs> good, good. Well, also we have today joining us is Ashanti's mom, Elsie Collins. How you doing, Elsie? I'm good. How are y'all? How are you? <laughs> good, good, good. Well, Ashanti, let's just go ahead and get into it. So take us back to that moment where, you know, you're you're doing your thing, it's senior year, and then the quarantine hits, you know, you're being told, hey, we've got to cancel school and you're going to be homeschooled and then no prom and then you're not going to be able to ha have graduation in the way that you were probably hoping you would have to be able to have graduation this year kind of tell us how did you feel when you heard all of this well when I first heard about it it was like um my sister's birthday party or whatever that's when it first first started so that's when we first had to start being quarantined or whatever and I was just like, huh? I was just confused. Maybe I, then I kept on thinking like, maybe it'll be over in a week. Maybe because like they always say stuff gonna happen, but then it always ends. So I was like, okay, it'll be over. Then it just started getting serious and serious. It was weeks after weeks after weeks. Then they said they was gonna cancel prom. So I was kind of upset about it, but I went my um, junior year to prom. So I already got the experience, but like I wanted to go again for my 12th grade year. Then graduation. I never really had a real graduation, so I mean, I was just upset about it. And when I recently got my cap and gown, I cried a little bit because I was just like, I want to be like everybody else. They got to walk the stage, so I wanted to like experience, see how it feels and stuff. So, yeah. yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, well, I can only imagine. Um, so, and I know you've got lots of friends. How you know? What did your friends say to you? Um, they were mostly like, they were. We were all were upset because I have like two friends that I'm like close with at school so like we have our own group chat and we was like we was all upset about it we like we had stuff planned like for after prom what we was gonna do and then graduation we had stuff planned so we there was all, well we was all upset about it but like we still want to continue like doing our what we was gonna do but just like well a little bit of people and not like a lot of people since we can't wow so I know mom is sitting next to you right now what what does she say to you about the situation and what was going on she was just like she was upset more than me. <laughs> she was upset more than me. Like she was really upset about it. She was just like, "What? No graduation?" And she had like she already had got stuff planned, already bought stuff, already had rented out a place where we can have it. So like she was just like mostly. I think she was like stressed out about it more than me though. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> although you you know you you're experiencing this and you're not gonna be able to you know have graduation and prom and things in the traditional manner you've had quite a few accomplishments since we have been in quarantine so tell us a little bit about some of those things oh well um i like recent well not recently but like i applied to like many different colleges well hbcus to be exact and i got accepted into like one that i wanted to go to so i'm going to i'm gonna be going to st augustine university in the fall for four years i'm gonna be majoring in elementary education so, oh yeah, excited about that. Wow, but you also had a couple other things happen to you too, right? We, yeah. <laughs> oh, so I, oh, like far as like stuff going on, like my car and the license and all that. So, just making the best of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I remember um, my senior year in high school um, and getting ready to graduate. I didn't get a car, so that's. <laughs> pretty <laughs> so that's a pretty um, amazing thing despite 
you know, not being able to, you know, go to prom and have graduation and stuff like that. So that that's that's pretty cool. And then to be accepted, I have to, you know, shout out to my HBCU. <laughs> You know, St. Augustine is a really, really good school, and so I'm, I'm personally um, super proud of you for for being accepted into to this college. So now that we've had a chance to talk to you, Ashanti, we're gonna we're gonna see what Elsie has to say. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Elsie, I know you were looking forward to helping her like get ready for prom and to see her go across the stage. So how did you feel when you found out that um, things wouldn't happen the way that you would like this year? I was a little bummed about it because, you know, as me being a single parent, you know, her facing different diversities going to high school, you know, for me, she didn't lose herself in high school. She wasn't chasing after boys. She stayed focused. She knew what she wanted. So for me, that's a big accomplishment. Like, this is my first child, someone that I have grew with, someone who's motivated me to, you know, just to see that not happening. I was a little bummed about it, but at the end of the day, you know, safety is always first, but I feel like they could have did more. You know, I, I think CMS could have could have did more. Yeah. And, and I know speaking from a heart of a mom, you know, those are, are big accomplishments that you, you know, you, you can't wait for those moments. So I know mm -hmm. it, it had to be tough for you um, because you, like she said, you had already rented out stuff and was already kind of planning what you're going to do. And then to not do it um, had to be a little bit disappointing. Um, yeah. And then I also know that, you know, um, Elsie, you have someone who you really wanted to be um, there with you as, you know, to see your, your first child graduate and that mm -hmm. was your father. So, yeah. um, so first tell, tell us a little bit about him. <sighs> he was a great dad. Um, and all he talked about, and all he really wanted was, you know, both of my girls, with Shanti being the oldest, to graduate, go to college, make something of herself. And for him not to be here, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. What do you think he would say to her? if he were here today wow a person a person like my dad he would be so excited he would be so happy just to see his first grandchild actually walk across that stage and all her accomplishment he would be thrilled yeah yeah i'm sure he is he would be thrilled. And I personally know you, Elsie, as a mom, and I know he would be super proud of you and the job that you've done with raising your girls and, you know, and, and seeing Ashanti to this point to, you know, where she is, has a, has a license, has a car, she's graduating, she's getting ready to go off to college to have an, you know, to prepare for an awesome career. And so I, think he would say to you, Miss um, Elsie, well done, well Thank done. You. And, you know, I too know and understand, um, you know, the power in having a, a, a male kind of father figure or role model around during this time when you're going to college. I, I had that and my uncle, um, Kenneth Scott Taylor, he um, was really there for for me and you know helped guide me and 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 provided that support for me and so you know when I was in college and so I understand you know he's not here with us um, anymore and so I understand what that means to you know to not ha to have that support and then to not have that support it does definitely feel like you know there there's a part missing but you know God always fills in in the gaps and. Speaking of God uh, filling in the gaps, one of the things that my husband and I wanted to do um, for the graduates 
in honor of my uncle Kenneth Scott K Taylor is to have a scholarship fund. So Ms. Ashanti, you, and you will receive $250 for <laughs> Scott Taylor, <laughs> Kenneth Scott Taylor scholarship fund. Um, and we're not calling it a college scholarship fund. We're calling it a life scholarship fund because my uncle Scott believed that, you know, that if you were able to make it to this journey, whether you go to college, whether you go to a trade, whether you go and, and, and get a job directly after graduating from high school, that it's a win-win situation. And so on behalf of, of him and in his memory, we're going to offer you um, this life scholarship. Then once we began to talk about this with our church family, Greater Work Center decided that they were going to match what we provided in a scholarship. So, Ms. Ashanti, um, between the Kenneth Scott Taylor Scholarship, Life Scholarship, and your family at Greater Work Center, you will get a combined Life Scholarship of $500 to help you get oh. started with college. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and here's the, the cool thing all of our graduates from um, from Greater Work Center will receive that same $500 scholarship. So that right. is Ms. Ashanti. We have, um, we have Jaden Davis, who is also graduating this year. We have Marquise, I'm sorry, we have Jaquan Faison, who is graduating this year. And then we also have Trey Sutton, who will be graduating this year as well. And the four of you will each receive a $500 life scholarship for um, the oh, Kenneth awesome. Scott Taylor Life Scholarship and Greater Work Center. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're I'm so I'm going to shout around this room in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be looking at me like that. <laughs> So one of the questions that we always ask um, as part of Sunday Inspiration has to do with seeing God. So Ashanti, I'll ask you first, and then um, I'll ask your mom next. So where have you seen God today? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't lose faith. I just, even with all this stuff going on, I just kept going, like just going throughout the day. And I know God, he got something in store for us with the class of 2020. So I know he's here and he's watching and he's, he's going to make something happen. Amen. Amen. Elsie, where have you seen God today? I have seen Ashanti come out of shell um, a little. She encouraged me. So I think that was God moving through her to encourage me. So, yeah. <laughs> Amen. I know it's a little bit overwhelming <laughs> to get this news and then to be asked more. <laughs> hey, for y'all blessing her and blessing me, that's amazing. Like, yeah. that's amazing. We was just trying to figure out, like, we got to apply for scholarships because I don't want her coming out of school and having this big, you know, loan. So for y'all to bless us, I am so, I'm so overjoyed and I'm, we blessed and I just thank y'all. Thank you so much. Amen. One of the things that, you know, that we know God, we know about God is that he is a provider. Yes. And when he, when he wraps you in a circle of family, your family steps up and, and they take care of you. And so, you know, through God and, you know, through just the lessons that we've learned from, from my uncle Scott, um, <laughs> you just want to make sure that we pay it forward and, you know, just to make sure that his memory lives on. So it is definitely an honor for us to be able to do this and provide this for you guys. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> well, well, guys, thank you so much. I know you've got a lot going on today. And so I do appreciate you taking the time to spend with us on um, Sunday Inspiration. So you guys have a great rest of your day, okay? You, you too. And I can't wait to get back in church. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm like so ready. <laughs> Well, we can't wait to see you guys either and give you give you big hugs. But for now, here's a big virtual hug to you. Hey, hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, 
To our audience, thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode of Sunday Inspiration. I hope it has been a blessing to you. I hope it has warmed your heart the way that it has warmed my heart. And I hope you continue to have a blessed rest of your day. Until next time, we'll see you. Thank you. Love you guys.